Hello everyone, I'm Yasar from Cars and Crowns and this time around we're gonna discuss about the charging of Porsche Taycan. So how you can charge this car at home and for that matter we're gonna have another chat with Jason Broom, the managing director of Porsche Indonesia. How are you Jason? I'm very well thank you. Thank you for coming back and welcome to Porsche Center Jakarta. And yeah, maybe straight to the questions. We can all agree that safety is important. Can you share more about the charging installation? Is it actually plug and play or there are special requirements for it? So uh, we like to think it's plug and play. The basic charger that comes uh, with the vehicle can be plug and play. But if you want the fast charging, then you need to really get a specialist to come and, and have a look. So what we've done is we have uh, an engineer that will come visit your house check the power that's available in your house and make sure you have the capacity of spare available power to charge the vehicle. The next stage of this, if you want faster charging, is a home energy manager. So this is where the car is plugged into a system which monitors the perform power in the house. Uh, if you're charging your mobile phone and you're using the kettle or the iron or anything that is really drawing a lot of current, it will then stop charging the car, allow the house to consume the electricity, and then it will switch back on to charging the car as and when. So you're never short of power. You're not gonna see the lights dim down and, and things like this. So, so yeah, we're quite confident that we've, we've really gone to extremes to make sure that customers are taken care of. Is there a certified partner to do the installation? Yeah, absolutely. So what we've done is we've gone to the market to find a professional body that is uh, certified in Indonesia, uh, a specialist electrical engineer, and then we send them to your house and inspect the power, and then they will also do the installation. So safety is paramount importance. We don't want anything to go wrong. We don't want to see anybody having any problems. So we've really gone to you know, extreme lengths to make sure that if we install the charger, it's not going to cause any damage to you, your home, or the vehicle. Speaking about homes, in Jakarta, some of the customer lives in apartments. Is it still possible for them to have the car? Well, what we don't want to see is obviously people running extension cables from their 20th story yeah. window to the basement car park to charge their cars. We've been talking to a number of apartment complexes, uh, building zones and things to discuss the possibility of installing chargers. Obviously, as electric vehicles expand in Indonesia, there's going to be more and more demand. Most of the people that we've spoken to are welcoming installing charges in their, in their car parks. Businesses, we can already see in the market there are some car parks have charging stations. Some of our charging partners are also looking at installing charges around Indonesia. So we really don't see a huge problem with charging the vehicles at the moment. And can the Taycan uh, be charged in public charging stations? Is that possible? Yeah, absolutely. So there's three or four different types of charging plug available, but there's one common one most European cars use. So we're quite fortunate that, that this is an adopted standard in Indonesia. So the, the let's say the portable or mobile charging stations that are installed generally, the public ones, the Taycan can definitely be charged there. All about the charging is covered by far. So maybe what is the next hot topic about the Taycan? I think the next possible target it has to be the range. The range. Right. How far can you go? Okay, interesting. So for the next series, we're going to discuss about the range of the Porsche Taycan. How far you can drive the car. So stay tuned.